Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing what is burning mouth syndrome. I'll talk about the causes, some of the symptoms, and some tips to help burning mouth syndrome. So this is something that I was asked in a TikTok video, and I thought I would address it here in this, this comprehensive video. So some of the causes of burning mouth syndrome include candida, which is an overgrowth, I've talked about in other videos, of a yeast that can turn into a more fungal invasive form and it's something that definitely needs to be addressed in terms of overall health but our gut health as well. Another cause could be chemo and radiation treatments for cancer and that can be a very common cause for burning mouth syndrome as well as autoimmune disorders. So again coming back to the gut and having that healthy microbiome this can also be related to the burning mouth. Also a B12 deficiency and this is something that I've actually experienced in you know my patients who had burning burning mouth syndrome and when we discovered that it was actually a B, vitamin B12 deficiency that was you know really helpful for them to be able to help that as well as an iron deficiency can be related to this as well also high blood glucose levels and diabetes or pre-diabetics can also experience this burning in the mouth as well as acid reflux patients and people who have GERD and thyroid disorders can also cause the burning in the mouth the symptoms as you can imagine for burning mouth syndrome are a sensation of burning in the mouth and on the tongue as well and sometimes the tongue can actually be red and inflamed. So here are my tips on how to help burning mouth syndrome and of course how to do it naturally. So tip number one like I just discussed was to ensure that your B12 levels are where they should be and I have other episodes all about vitamin B12 that you can check out. So making sure that you're taking the right type of vitamin B12 if you know that a absorption is compromised in the diet. Often vegetarians have difficulty getting enough vitamin B12, so getting it in the right format that is absorbable is really important and in the non-toxic form. Another tip would be to ensure that your iron levels are where they should be as well. So this is something that can be routinely checked in some blood work in terms of your B12 status and your iron. Definitely something to ask your doctor, especially if this is a chronic problem for you with the burning mouth. Now another deficiency that is not so easy to discover in blood work is a zinc deficiency but zinc deficiency can also be a cause for the burning mouth syndrome so one of the ways that you know that you may be low in zinc in terms of a sign would be that you get those white spots on the nails and this would be again indicative of potentially having a zinc deficiency I have other videos on zinc deficiency and some of the signs and symptoms that are very much correlated to having low zinc, so you can check those out as well. Now another tip is to use baking soda. So we know that baking soda is very alkalinizing, so right on contact, this can really help with soothing some of that burning sensation in the mouth. All you do is mix a quarter teaspoon in a little bit of water and you can swish that around in your mouth and then you can actually drink it down as well or you could choose to spit it out. Another tip is to use some honey and we know that honey is very soothing to our mucous membranes but in the mouth as well especially if it's very inflamed and you want to choose an unpasteurized honey that hopefully you can you know get from a beekeeper that's what we would do and we go right to the beekeeper so we know the purity of that honey and it's locally grown so that's something that I know that my body will digest because it's in the environment that I live in and that's why it's important to have those active enzymes and and of course all of that microflora from the honey itself which is very healing to the body. Another tip is to decrease your stress. So yes, stress can very much be related to this syndrome and we know that stress also depletes our B vitamins. So getting a handle on our stress and of course our adrenal function as well is really important. So check out my video on adrenal fatigue and stress and that will help you in terms of some other tips that you can add into these tips to help with the burning mouth syndrome. And my last tip, of course, is to do a candida cleanse. So if this is, in fact, related to having candida or a thrush, but also candida in the digestive tract and elsewhere in the body, then it's really important that we do a candida cleanse. We have to kill off that candida, but then we also have to replenish with the good, healthy, friendly flora, the probiotics, to ensure that it doesn't come back. We also have to watch the sugars in the diet. We don't want to be feeding that candida 
data. And so there's a whole protocol for that, which you can definitely check in one of my other videos as well. So I hope that this shed some light on burning mouth syndrome. It's something that, you know, I get a lot of questions about. So I hope that I answered your questions. Please let me know in the comments below if you have further questions about this syndrome or if it's something that you've experienced. I would love to hear from you. Also be sure to share this video and please give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate that. And if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure that you subscribe and you click that bell and turn on those notifications so that you always get my newest and latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.